Hello, today we're going to look at the interface of the RTV exporter, the Pro version, which includes uh, Navisworks uh, functionality and advanced IFC, as well as a full batch processing and scheduled task facility for Autodesk Revit. The main interface for the RTV exporter Pro can be accessed from the uh, ribbon under the add-ins section once it's installed. Um, there's the, the main application will start by clicking on the main Exporter Pro icon here or if you want to import the current active uh, window you can click current to import the current um, and all sheets available in the Revit project click sheets and to do just the views only all views that are available in the Revit project click views Starting up the application, you'll be presented with the um, tutorial getting started uh, interface for the Exporter Pro. On here, you can view this video um, videos about exporting, printing, batch processing, scheduled tasks, parameters, filters, access our RTV Wiki help, uh, or view other videos online. Once the application has started, the look and feel of the application is very familiar with existing uh, Revit users uh, or Microsoft Word users. The interface has a ribbon across the top where the main commands of the application exists. The, the main body of the application is broken into two tabs. The first tab is the Sheets tab uh, that displays all the Revit sheets that have been imported into the application. And the second tab is the Revit views that have been imported into the application. Each of the tabs have dynamic filter features. Uh, dragging any of the column headers to the grey bar at the top will start to filter uh, the, the interface on these parameters. Any and each of these parameters can be dragged up and uh, parameters can be nested underneath um, each other. Uh, below the column headers uh, you can search and filter dynamically on keywords that are at present within uh, titles and parameter names on sheets and views. Any of these uh, filter parameters can be saved and reused for later things, particularly in the batch processing. You may want to create a saved filter for uh, Navisworks files for batch processing later. To add additional fields or column headers to the main interface, simply right click over the column header and choose column chooser and drag and drop any of the parameters that you may want to uh, include in the interface into the main um, window and that works for sheets and views. Clicking on the export icon on the ribbon will start the export views and sheets uh, dialog to export the selected views and sheets to various different file types including DWF, DWG, DXF, PDF, IFC, NWC, uh, export drafting views uh, to Revit project files, FBX, and DGN. Clicking on the print icon on the ribbon will start the print dialog. On the print dialog you can print to two printers simultaneously and this will allow you to print to full size and half size printers at the same time. On the print dialog you can reverse the order of printing of the output, increase the number of copies required and customize the print output settings. These can be saved for later reuse. Um, clicking on the batch process icon on the ribbon will extend the side dialog for creating and setting 
batch processes within the RTV exporter, adding views or sheets to the uh, interface will allow you to then export these to predefined and saved export configurations uh, either as part of a scheduled task or as part of a complete batch process. Sheets can be added to the batch process um, at the same time as views are. The flyouts can be pinned uh, so they, they don't uh, close after interaction with them. The, icon, uh, the sheets and views can be reordered by clicking on the side buttons um, and uh, configuration export files can be loaded from file if there are some saved. On the bottom of the batch process dialog you will find the work sharing options dialog. The work sharing options are used in conjunction with the scheduled tasks and batch facilities within the exporter to archive a central file to create new local copies and synchronize them with central um, to define if you want the central file um, opened in a detach from central mode and whether any work sets should be opened or closed um, in conjunction with the batch processing. The save uh, batch process icon uh, is required to save the batch process for a scheduled task to be run at a later date and any saved batch processes can be loaded back in for quick access um, to repeat a batch process. And then there's the run uh, batch process icon to the left. Unpinning the, the toolbar and it will close uh, when exiting. Clicking on the task scheduler icon on the ribbon will extend the task scheduler dialog. And this can be pinned as well. Any uh, task schedules that have been created and are set within uh, the workstation environment will be displayed in the list. Uh, to edit any of these uh, scheduled tasks, just simply double click on them to uh, edit any of the time, date, uh, email, uh, post uh, batch processing and batch facilities. Clicking on the email settings icon will open the email notifications settings dialog as uh, specify your uh, email server, the sender's name uh, and the recipients uh, to forward emails when batch processing tasks have been completed. Click on the Revit application icon to specify the path to the revit.exe uh, file so the scheduled task engine can start the correct version of Revit. Uh, add any post-processing batch files to the scheduled task by clicking on the icon to browse to any uh, batch files that you may wish to run and Click on the load batch process icon to load any batch processes that you would like to execute. Um, the batch processes can be reordered and batch processes can be deleted from the list. Clicking on the create scheduled task icon will display the task scheduler dialog and use this to create scheduled tasks within the RTV exporter. Click on the edit scheduled task icon to edit an existing scheduled task or double click on a, an existing scheduled task out of the task uh, dialog. To remove an existing scheduled task uh, click on the delete scheduled task to delete the highlighted scheduled task. Clicking on the task logs icon in the ribbon will display the task logs um, dialog. Use the scroll bar to scroll through a list of all the previous scheduled tasks. 
to review a, the log of a scheduled task that has been completed, simply double click on a highlighted cell. This will open the log of the scheduled task that has been completed. Click the Save Sheet Set icon in the ribbon to save the selected sheets in the exporter as a sheet set. Typing in the name will then make it available for the use at a later date. Clicking on the Delete Set icon in the ribbon will delete the current active sheet set. Click Yes to proceed. To restore previous sheet saved sheet sets, uh, select the drop down and highlight the previous sheet set to restore. Sheet sets are restored um, on demand by clicking through them. Clicking on the save filter icon will save any view or sheet filters to a file. These can then be used as part of a batch process or a scheduled task at a later date. Um, click on the load filter icon on the ribbon to load a previously saved sheet filter list. Click on the parameters icon on the ribbon to display the parameters uh, dialog that are available for sheets and views within the RTV exporter. Scrolling through the list of parameters to be made available and checking them on the left hand side will make these parameters available for exporting and batch processes um, within the exporter. Use the automatic parameter definitions to load the parameters automatically, either all parameters, don't load parameters, load previous per selected parameters, or to define the parameters on import into the RTV exporter. Clicking on the check for updates icon will extend a menu where you can choose to check for updates, set proxy service settings, review the licensing terms and conditions for the RTV exporter and configure the email settings um, for the batch processing. Clicking on the YouTube icon will take you to the RTV Tools YouTube channel. Clicking on the magnifying glass will display the find and search toolbar. Clicking on the question mark will dis display the tutorials splash page again. To exit the RTV exporter, simply click exit at the bottom right hand corner.